I started my turn signal project with this incandescent clearance light manufactured by Reese. We can't use this or any other clearance light as is for a turn signal because clearance lights are only meant to be seen in the dark and aren't nearly bright enough to get attention in the daylight. But we can make them brighter easily and cheaply. These Reese lights come in red or amber and are available in a variety of places. Just Google Reese Round Clearance Light on the internet. I bought mine for $2.49 each at Menards.com. Open the package and remove the lens. The hot lead for the light is packed inside the lens and must be routed out through the hole as shown. There is no ground wire because the light is supposed to ground electrically through one of the mounting screws. This means we can't use zip ties or other non-conductive fasteners unless we solder another wire to the grounding tab at the base of the bulb. Speaking of bulbs, take this pitiful bulb out and throw it away unless you have another use for it. We're going to replace the bulb with an LED unit. LED lights have all the advantages. They're smaller, brighter, and they consume far less power than other light sources. These units shown here also come with voltage control circuitry and can be run on either AC or DC power, which means we don't have to worry about connecting them backwards. To find these, Google all or parts of this description, 12 volt G4 SMD cool white. Be sure to purchase the correct voltage for your application and be sure to order cool white. The warm white and soft white versions of the LEDs aren't as bright. Did I mention that these LED units are really bright? I wouldn't look at one close up while it's turned on, or I should say, I'll never do it again. It didn't hurt me to look, but it took several seconds for my eyes to readjust back to ambient light afterward. Don't quote what I said about not hurting me to look at it. Just don't do it. I'm sure you've noticed by now that the LED unit looks nothing like the original bulb we removed from the light. So how do we install it? Easy. We insert the two pins on the LED under the bottom contacts in the socket between the contacts and the plastic socket housing as shown in this picture. No modification is required. One caution though, the LED pins are blunt on the end and might require a little wiggling during the insertion in order to get them to slide in. Don't make the mistake of bending the contacts upward to create more space. If you bend them up, they won't bend back and that will make a sloppy connection. If insertion seems too difficult, try inserting the point of a straight pin first to make a bit more room for the LED pins. Here's a close-up of the LED unit with the pins partially inserted into the socket. Here's the LED unit fully inserted into place. In this picture, the hot lead has also been routed outside of the housing and we're ready to snap the lens back on. Before we do though, Take note of the orientation. When the light is finally mounted for use, install it with the top of the LED unit upward so gravity works in our favor to hold it in place. The top is opposite the point where the lead wire exits the housing. To make a long story shorter, mount the light with the lead wire coming out of the bottom. And that's all there is to it. I can assemble one of these units without any tools in less time than it takes to watch this video. The cost for each unit not counting sales tax and shipping, is $3.49 each, and they only weigh one and one half ounces each. In conclusion, here's a demo of the lights we just made once they're put into action. First as turn signals, and then as four-way flashers. These are flashing outdoors in broad daylight, so we can see the impact is more than satisfactory for getting attention. One footnote, though. Getting these lights to flash requires a separate flasher unit and controlling them requires handlebar mounted switches. In other words, there's more things to buy and assembly is required. But those other things are much more readily available than these lightweight powerful LED flashers, which was my point in making this video. This is Clarence. Be safe out there and thanks for dropping in.